So it seems like the new XPS 15 and 17 have accidentally been released when the new Inspire Online has come out and an image appeared online. Someone took a screenshot and i tell you something, they're looking pretty smart. Hey everybody, my name is Aidan, this is Everyday Tech. Thank you for watching my video today and if you are new to my channel and you like anything that's tech related, then please consider subscribing below. And before we go on any further, I'd like to just say a little hello to two of my biggest littlest fans, Cora and Morgan. I know they like watching me on the big screen at home with their mummy and daddy. So apparently a image was released by Dell recently talking about, well, the new Inspiron range, but the image that they released had four laptops in it. Now, the two at the back didn't look like the two at the front. The two at the back looked like the XPS range. So this could be an indication of what's coming in the new XPS 15 and the muchly anticipated XPS 17. So taking a look at the image, on face value, they don't look very different than any other XPS model until you get slightly closer up. The bezels on the new XPS, if these are to be believed, are slightly thinner, especially at the chin. It'll be more in line with the new XPS 13 that has not long been released. So this is gonna be mean more screen space for everybody. And not only that, if you take a look at the trackpad, it looks huge. Well, in comparison to Dell's other trackpads, in line with Apple, well, we'll have to find out, but it's looking good from the pictures that we see. Now it looks like again they've got up firing speakers to the side, you know, which is which is quite nice. I mean, we don't know how good these are going to sound, but you know, you don't expect too much from a laptop if I'm honest. But some of the interesting parts are the things that you might not notice. For example, on this side, you still got an SD card reader. Now, you'd be thinking, well, yeah, but a lot of people have been, you know, dropping SD card readers, so it's nice to see that Dell have kept it. But for me, what I want to see is, well, it's not what I want to see, it's that what I want to know is you want to know what's under the hood. I mean, what kind of screen is the 17 going to have? Because again, not that there's mixed feelings, but people give mixed messages whether you should go for the 4K or not the 4K because obviously it does drain the battery. And then you've got to think about, well, the size of the battery because with it being a laptop and it's possibly, well, it's use for portability, it can only help, you know, only be of a certain size. So have they managed to change anything to make sure that it's not as power hungry as the previous model? But one of the other things that I've noticed is the power point on the side or the power cable point has gone and it looks like there's a type C port. So fingers crossed, they'll be going for type C, well, USB type C charging. So the XPS 17 will be the most anticipated item. What's it gonna have under the hood? How much is it gonna be? These are all big questions. And to be honest, nobody really knows. We actually don't know anything about the internals of these laptops. We can only go on these pictures to see what we can actually see. And even then, this isn't guaranteed. So before I go guys, have you found this useful? Does it get you excited about the new XPS range? Comment below and let me know. And if you found this useful, please don't forget to hit that like button to help spread this video. And if you've really enjoyed it, then subscribe to my channel. And guys, I shall see you soon. Bye.